Hello, this is Steve Moyer for Moyer Marine. In this project overview, we will be installing Petronix electronic ignition on an Atomic 4 engine. Moyer Marine has been selling Petronix electronic ignition as well as installing it on our Atomic 4 rebuilds for decades. It is proven to be extremely reliable and trouble free. Upgrading to electronic ignition not only eliminates the need to check, adjust, and replace points and condenser, it also offers enhanced reliability and durability. Due to its solid state construction, it is less susceptible to mechanical failure. Additionally, electronic modules provide more precise control over ignition timing. We assume that prior to installing your electronic ignition, that your atomic four was at least properly timed using points and condenser. If not, we suggest doing so before the installation. You can find how to set the ignition timing on your Atomic 4 by viewing our ignition timing video on moirmarine.com under the support menu, then video tech tip section. We will begin by disconnecting the lead from the points to the negative terminal of the coil. Next, disconnect the spark plug wires from the distributor cap, taking note of their location. This will help when it's time to reconnect them. Loosen the two cap screws and set the cap aside for now. If your distributor cap is in good condition as ours is, it can be reused. It will have to be modified, however. More on this later in the video. Remove the rotor and set it aside. If it's in good shape, it may also be reused. Remove the two breaker plate mounting screws, being careful not to drop them in the bilge. They are tiny and hard to replace. A note here regarding your points, condenser, and breaker plate assembly. If your Atomic 4 was running, we suggest saving this assembly complete and intact. It may be reinstalled later as a backup for your electronic ignition or used during troubleshooting your ignition system should the need arise. Now is a good time to inspect the flyweights and springs. We're looking for good spring action. Look for any dirt or rust and clean as needed. Replace the springs if necessary. In terms of lubrication, we find that a few drops of a straight 30 weight oil applied directly to the springs is adequate. Next, install the new breaker plate that came with your Petronix kit. Align the screw holes with the wire guide facing the coil and the alignment tab facing away from the block. Install and tighten the same screws that you removed from your old breaker plate. Once again, being careful not to drop them. Gently place and turn the magnetic ring until it partially drops on the distributor shaft. Then firmly press down until it stops. To verify that the magnetic ring is fully seated, measure from the top of the ring to the top of the distributor shaft. It should measure 7 16th of an inch. And we are good! Take the module from your kit and line up the two mounting holes over the breaker plate studs. Snug up the nut furthest from the engine first. You will notice in your kit we included a small uninsulated ring terminal. This is to help keep your wiring neat. Take the terminal and install it over the mounting stud closest to the engine. Then snug up the remaining nut. Take the feeler gauge included with your kit and place it between the module and the magnetic ring. Apply gentle but firm pressure on the module as you tighten both of the nuts. We suggest keeping this feeler gauge in your toolkit so you can check this clearance if ever needed. 
Now take the wire insulator or strain relief and snug it into the wire recess. Take one of the included wire ties from the kit and loop it through the terminal and around the black and red wires. Snug down the wire tie and adjust as needed to run the wires neatly, making sure they won't interfere with the magnetic ring or rotor as they spin. Also, make sure the wires are held inside the breaker plate so they don't extend outward and get pinched by the back edge of the distributor cap when you install it. Now we can snip off the wire tie. Keep adjusting as needed. That looks pretty good. Now take the rotor, place it on the distributor cap, spin it until it drops in place. Make sure it is seated fully in the groove. The bottom of your factory distributor cap had a very small wire recess, which allowed the single wire from the points to safely pass under it. This recess will not be enough, however, for the igniter's insulator. It is simply too tight and will pinch or damage the wires. What we do is file a larger round recess, which will allow the larger igniter wires to safely be held in place. You can simply take a round file and file over the factory wire recess. Make sure you file at an angle as well as perpendicular to the edge. This will ensure that all the sharp edges have been removed. Now when installing the cap, the insulator is nicely held in place in the rounded recess. That feels good. Next, tighten up both of the distributor cap hold down screws. And give this one another turn here. You will notice that the module wire ends did not come with terminals. They are, however, included in the kit. We will go ahead and crimp on the ring terminals now. First the red. And now the black. Great. Of all the steps in this project, this is probably the most critical. Attach the wire leads to the coil, red to positive and black to negative. If you reverse the polarity of the wires and turn on your ignition switch, the module will be permanently damaged. Remember, red to positive and black to negative. Reinstall your coil terminal nuts and tighten. Using another of the cable ties from the kit, take a minute to neaten up the module wires. This will keep them out of the way and prevent them from becoming tangled. At this point we are done with the igniter kit installation. Just double check that all fasteners have been tightened properly. All that's left to do now is reinstall our spark plug wires. If you forgot to mark them, start with the cylinder closest to the flywheel. That's cylinder number one. This wire goes here to the post furthest from the block. Next, cylinder number two goes here. Now we skip to cylinder number four, which goes closest to the block. Then back to cylinder number three, which goes here closest to the alternator pulley. Then finally the coil lead. The spark plugs are installed in this sequence because the firing order of the atomic four is one, two, four, three. For future reference, since we all forget, you can find this wiring diagram on our website under the support menu, then tech tips, then rotor positions at number one top dead center with spark plug wire routing.
Thank you for your time. You can find Petronix electronic ignition kits, along with other atomic four parts and services, on our website at moriamarine.com.